Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson, Documentation, Policy Condition 1. Here we will learn about various documents that are involved in the transformation of a proposal into a life insurance policy. Let us begin with understanding the concept called First Premium Receipt. An insurance contract commences when the life insurance company issues a First Premium Receipt, FPR. An FPR is the evidence that the policy contract has begun. The first premium receipt contains the following information. Name and address of the life assured. Policy number. Premium amount paid. Method and frequency of premium payment. Next due date of premium payment. Date of commencement of the risk. Date of final maturity of the policy Date of payment of the last premium and Sum assured After the issue of an FPR, the insurance company will issue subsequent premium receipts only when it receives further premiums from the proposer. These receipts are known as Renewal Premium Receipts, RPR. The RPRs act as a proof of payment in the event of any dispute related to premium payment. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Documentation, Policy Condition 1, we will learn about the policy document. Here we will cover the following concepts. Policy document is defined as an evidence of the contract between the assured and the insurance company. So it is not the contract itself because if the policy document is lost by the policyholder, it does not affect the insurance contract. The policy document has to be signed by a competent authority and should be stamped according to the Indian Stamp Act. The standard policy document typically has three parts, which includes policy schedule, standard provisions, and specific policy provisions. Now let us learn about the first part, that is policy schedule. It is usually found on the face page of the policy and would normally contain the following information. First, name of the insurance company. Second, some specific details for the particular policy like policy owner's name, address, date of birth, age, sum assured, name of nominee, mode of premium payment, etc. Third, insurer's promise to pay, which forms the heart of the insurance contract. Fourth, signature of the authorized signatory and policy stamp. And fifth, address of the local insurance ombudsman. Here we will learn about other two parts of policy document, that is standard policy provisions and specific policy provisions. The standard policy provisions are normally present in all life insurance contracts, unless specifically excluded. These provisions define the rights, privileges and other conditions which are applicable under the contract. The specific policy provisions are specific to the individual policy contract. These may be printed on the face of the document or inserted separately in the form of an attachment. These provisions generally are linked to the particular contract between the insurer and the insured. Here is a quick look at the topics covered in this chapter. Thank you.